Yo guys, what's going down? It's your boy Ali here and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you the specifications and everything about the Specialized 2022 Stunt Jumper. Now I don't know if you see my unboxing video um, that I done yesterday at the point of recording. Um, I do apologise it wasn't the best quality because my internet wasn't connected and I need to go and sort it out but anyway. So got my tablet here for all these specifications and I'll show you everything top to bottom so I'll move my camera forward a little bit if it doesn't fall I hope all right so move the camera up a little bit okay so so it's a specialized stunt jumper alloy so the frame is aluminium uh, 2022 model so this year's model which is quite good same as the GT which is next to me um, on my Instagram page I will I have a picture of all three bikes which I think is quite cool um, the riding type is a trail bike so I'll be getting into harder trails with this one um, it's a unisex bike so male and female which is quite good because it's actually cheaper for the manufacturer doing a, a unisex bike than doing a male and female bike I think it's a lot. It's good, very good. Um, wheel size, 29 inch. Um, suspension is RockShox. The through hub is RockShox as well because it's the RockShox suspension. Um, on the back it is also quick release, but that one is specialised. Is the brand is called Specialised. Uh, what else do we have here? Frame is aluminium, as I've already said. In, it's in the name as well. Um, Great big tyres, like I said, 29 inch. The brand on the front is Butcher Grid D9. I don't know if you can see that very well, I don't, it's a little bit small. Um, on the back is Purgatory Grid T7. I'm not too sure why there's two different grades. I think it's because the front one needs more grip and the back one just needs traction. I'm not too sure why. Don't ask, I'm not too sure. Um, now, I unboxed it yesterday, as I said, and I think it was very at the, at the very start where I turned the bike around to uh, move the head, uh, the cockpit as as you like. Um, the grips are specialised; the brand is specialised. So is the um, handlebars. I'd have thought the stem is as well, um, but if you notice. This here had a massive chunk taken out of it, so I'm not happy exactly about that. So I did travel two hours up to Plymouth. If I just move my camera up a little bit, it might be helpful. So I had to travel up to Plymouth, uh, get that sorted. So now I've got um, Death Grips B, um, DMR Death Grips, which I quite like. Um, so the Gears are SRAM, uh, SRAM SX, which I quite love. I love SRAM. I've never had SRAM. I've, my brother's got SRAM on his bike. I don't know if he's still got it. Uh, that's a, you know, the brand giant. He had SRAM uh, cassette and Remek. I can think of the word then. So yeah, now I've got it. So happy days. Um, so the front travel is 140 and the offset is 44 mil of offset the, i think that's the head angle 44 mil i think um yeah so it's rock shock 35 silver solo air spring uh, turn key lockout rebound adjustment uh axle light no map Maxle axle light or something. Um, 144 mil travel, which is quite good. I'm not too sure what travel that's on. Uh, I think it's a hundred, 110 mil. I think on my on the Buckloose suspension, 
don't know if I've done a review on that yet, but I've done a review on that bike. So, uh, on my review channel, it's Alistair Darn Reviews if you want to go and have a look at it. So, yeah. Uh, where were we? The stem, like I said, is specialised trail alloy 35mm bar clamp, length 40mm. Um, grip, specialised trail. So these are the trail grips that I had to get replaced. But these are nice grips. The, the option at the bike shop was either get these again, but spe sent by specialised, which would take like a month to get here, or get those ones which I needed them now, so got them instead. Brake levers are Tektro Gemini, Gem, Gemini? I don't know, Gem, Gemini Comp, I don't know if you can see that uh, very well. I will zoom in in a sec. Um, brakes, so the front one is 200mm for the front rotor and back is 180 which 200 mil for the front that's massive i've never had that big i've always had 160 which is on my on all bikes i've had okay so front rail obviously is one by as you can see which i've never had one by bike before so quite interesting uh cranks these ones tram uh, tram xl eagle pg 20 uh 1210, 12 speed, um, 11 to 50 tooth. Not too sure what that means, but anyway. Uh, rims, double alloy, 27mm inner width, uh, 28 hole. So that's the spokes, I'm guessing. Um, hubs, alloy sealed cartridge bearings, so I don't have to worry about um cops and all that and cops banners so it's just sealed bearings which is probably the best bearings you can get on a, on a bike uh where were we yeah 15 by 110 mil boost front and 12 by 148 millimeter boost rear with hg driver now listen to this That is music. That's music to my ears. That I love that, and I thought my road bike was loud. But I'm hoping to get hub. Um, hope hubs. They're louder. They sound like a, a swarm of bees. Go and check them out. It's called Hope, and have a look at what I mean. Uh, spokes are stainless steel, 14 grams. It's pretty stand stand a tree on something like this um tires i've already gone through the tires 29 inch for both of them um saddle is called specialized bridge uh steel rails which i say is actually quite comfortable to see like i've done on the gt i've actually had to swap out the gt one i'll go and get the gt one in a sec I found the GT one quite a tough seat uh, as I'm pushing down and not going down a lot. I found this quite tough, so I bought a, a brand new one uh, off brand from eBay. So, if you want to go and have a look at on everything I've done on this bike, it's I'll probably make a new playlist about bikes. But there we are, right. So the seat post is Trans X Dropper. Um, so it's 100 mil. Hang on, 100 mil S1, 125 mil S2, 170 S4 and 5. So that would be 100 and yeah, 170 mil because this is an S4. Um, or the well S4 and S5. The S6 is 200 mil. So it's just that's the largest size they do. 
So what it means by S is basically the reach of the bike. That's how they do them now. They don't do small, medium, large. You would think they make it easy. Um, seat post diameter, 34.9 mil. Pretty average for something like this. I think exactly the same on my um, GT. Uh, seat post clamp, alloy, single bolt, 38.6 mil. Pretty standard. I would have thought it would be a quick release for something this expensive. Even my GT's got a quick release, and that's what? 700 quid that's 2100 quid and that's well that's genesis was 1500 and i came with a single bolt same as this one that was 700 it came with a quick release seat, seat post you should have thought it would have been the other way around more expensive easy to get at there we are um rear dropper no rear dropout slash hub dimensions 148 by 12 mil boost i think that could be the suspension or this linkage area here the back um bottle cap mounts inside one inside the triangle front triangle so that will be these ones here i'm guessing um color is called hang on what is mine actually called i'm not too sure what mine actually is it could be a gloss ca white sage because it's not black and it's not smoke so i'm guessing it's a white sage i'm guessing it's like a minty sort of color i love the color love it uh warranty limited lifetime frame uh, two year specialised component so it's got a two year uh, warranty on it which is banging not too sure what the GT has I think it's a year or two years I'll have to have a look um, Mr. L no weight it doesn't say the weight but it's pretty light I don't have a weighing machine yet so I'll have to do it when it arrives I would have had the SPD pedals put on today but as the raw mail are on strike, I can't. So, miscellaneous horse link rear suspension design. So that's this linkage design, it's called a horse. Um, internal cable routing, exactly the same as the GT internal cable. But the only difference is with the GT, it comes out the bottom. This one comes out like mid the down section um sealed cartridge bearings pivot i'm guessing down here um geometry adjustable via flip chip on horse link so this is this here so you can adjust it i'm going to leave it because i'm happy as it is but you can adjust it and mess around with everything on this bike um now what i recommend rock shock I've always wanted to be getting RockShock. I wanted to get one for the GT, but I decided to go with that one. That's my second air suspension. My first one, I had right problems with it. Um, it's on my channel. It's got, it was an orange suspension. I actually put it on the Eurobike. That was a mistake. <laughs> and then got that one, the Buckloose, which is not too bad. Um, yeah, it's all on, on my YouTube, I think. So, more info, you could go to specialised.com for more information if you really wanted to. But that's basically the ins and outs, the everything about this bike. Now I'm going to show you around the bike. I have serviced it, I have cleaned it. So, I've just serviced my GT and the Genesis as well. So, yeah. So, put that away a sec. Okay, so let me just go and get the box in there and that arrived. So, it arrived with this box in a bag in the box. Excuse me. So, before we get started, can anyone please tell me what these are? If I just zoom in, try and get it without blurring, 
So it's got like a cut out each corner and it's that size with a like a seal around here and there's this one exactly the same the seal around here uh, exactly the same size on these two exactly the same size on these two but they're different heights I'm not too sure what they are um, I'm guessing it's for the bomb bracket I think I could be right I could be wrong I'm not too sure I've never seen these before so yeah so they arrived So it arrived with a multi-tool that I would have had to pay five quid for. This one here, look. If I don't throw it around. So just a simple multi-tool. It's not like I got any of these. It's not like it's my two, three, four. It's not my sixth multi-tool. Um, by law, it has to come with a bell and a front reflector and a rear reflector by law i don't know why but it does it came with shram and rock shock um leaflets i'm not going to get them out i'm just hiding them up so oh, i'll do that later it also came with a specialised warranty pack and a owner's manual for the fusion suspension as well. It also came with Evan Cycles Home Delivery Information Kit. A delivery note, which I'm not going to show you, I'm just showing you this, this is what a delivery note looks like. And a uh, yeah, that's a helicopter. I would show you, but anyway. And it came with a DVD, which I'll have to watch. That'll be funny to watch. Probably be in Taiwanese or something. Not not being racist or anything, but I d I won't understand. So this is the. Um, the seat post first one I've ever got before Obviously, I've ridden bikes with these before but not actually owned a bike with this before I was looking to get one on the GT but yeah. also got was some more information leaflets and some stickers I don't know why these ones are all clear I don't know why and there's some stickers on here, specialised, as you can see. So, white, black, <gasps> excuse me, and some other stickers around here. My PS5 again decorated. And it came with this. That's the stunt jumper frame information pack. So, it just tells you how it goes on and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's pretty much everything for this bike. I will be reviewing it, and I'll, when I review it, I'll be at, by the time I review it, I'll have my pedals, I'll have my speedometer, and I'll have my mud guards, which is like just simple mud guards for it. I'll probably have something else on it as well. I'm looking to get like a Garmin or something for it, uh, so I can go longer distances, or I don't know, I'll. I'll because I want to go professional mountain biking at the Olympics. That's why I bought this bike. Because it's not a starter bike and it's not a very high end bike. It's like in the middle sort of range. Because I don't want to spend like 10, 15,000. I spent 2,000. So yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. So like I've said before, my links to my Instagram page, my Facebook page, um, I will do TikTok on my YouTube for my YouTube. Um, so go and check that out. I haven't done my TikTok yet. Um, if you're wondering my merch, I've had a shaky month this month, so I haven't been able to do it yet. Um, it's still on hold, I will be doing it, just not yet. I know some of you will be disappointed about this, but 
yes. Um, unfortunately so. Um, so, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this bike, this review. Well, it's not a review, but it's like a, about the bike. And I hope you've had a great day, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Cheers, guys.